Welcome back to Jill Saves the Prince. As Jill boards the ship of the giant green lizard men. One of the most surreal parts of any game in this trilogy. So the ship of the giant green lizard men is an annoying level for a lot of reasons. Um, for a start, there is nothing in it that is necessary that I've been able to find. I think there must be something I'm missing. Like an extra gem so you can access a bonus level like in episode 1. But yeah, as I said, if there is, I've never found it. Okay, I need... Oh, no, I've got a key. Uh, right. So the giant green lizard men look like they were drawn for an entirely different game. And, uh, hurt you a lot because you are utterly defenseless in this level. Um, there is no weapon. So, uh, that's a bit annoying. That one got kind of stuck. Yeah, they just look so bizarrely out of place. As if, like, yeah, the artist making this level, or who was asked to invent the enemies, was shown no other sprite work from this game at all before they made the uh, giant green lizard men. Oh! That one was probably my own stupid fault. Okay, I need another key. I'm gonna die. Yeah, stuff it. So as you can see, uh, as with many Jill levels, uh, like, as with the other Jill games, we uh, maintain level progress even if we die. So, uh... Oh, God. Go away. Go away. I'm just going to have to tank a hit. Yep. Yeah, stuff it. Run! Okay. Should be another key. Yeah, up there. We've got just enough headroom to jump over this guy. Ah. Uh, would have been nice, but oh well. Oh, it's awesome. Okay. Uh, so I've got another key, so I should be able to get through this bit and get the last gem and get hit. Because, of course... Eh. Run. Oh, come on, Jill. That was not very helpful. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. I'll bugger it. So, yeah. Having all sorts of fun with this level. And as I said, it's not even compulsory to complete the game. But we've got infinite lives, so I may as well try and play the whole game for you. The giant green lizard men have also allowed a lot of snakes onto their ship. Okay. Part of me wonders if it was like a last minute addition of a level. Because someone went, hey, didn't the prince get kidnapped by some giant green lizard men? Shouldn't we probably show some of those? Okay. Uh, let's go this way. The mega puzzle. Yes, it's not just a puzzle. It's mega. Welcome to uh, Loose Bouncy Balls. Always a joy. Wait here for a minute. Blocks come back, and we can finish the climb to get the key and a bunch of points. 
Can't even fall all the way to the bottom. In time. Okay. So that lovely sound means the loose bouncy ball is stuck somewhere that I don't want it to be necessarily. Okay. And for some reason, the elevator's now grown like roaring lions or something. I'm not sure what the intention was there, but you know, to each their own. Oh yeah, I think I've got to go flick a switch. And tank a hit. Lovely little ad there for ZZT. ZZT. I suppose it's meant to be pronounced as ZZT. I don't know that it really makes a difference. In Australia, even though we say Z, we do say ZZ Top. So, and Dragon Ball Z. Never known anyone who pronounces it Dragon Ball Z. What's in here? Jill tries her luck in the pyramid puzzle. This was the level that uh, is used for the demo of Jill 3 when you uh, have Jill 1, so long before I got this game, I uh, I had seen gameplay of this level. Uh, although not a great deal of it, uh, they just uh, tease you with a little bit of content. So uh, this level is about gradually unlocking little bits. So first we transform into the frog to get into the water. The frog can swim. In our only previous adventure as the frog, we of course didn't get to swim, but that's beside the point. The frog can also eat apples, which is lovely. Oop. Oh god almighty. There we go. So yeah, the frog jumps everywhere. You cannot stop the frog from jumping. As soon as you land, you jump. So, let's go transform back into Jill so now we can use our lovely new spinning blade to unlock another part of the level which I need to be up higher for now that I think about it here it is so spinning blade allows us to flick a switch which allows us to Go up here and enter a new part of the level again. So each, yes, each new area you unlock, unlocks something else to allow you to make more progress. And just uh, using each different game mechanic. So we can get the key, which will allow us to get the Firebird transformation, which will allow us to rise to the top of the pyramid and get the gem. Now re-jill and use the gem to escape the pyramid. So yes, very much a puzzle level uh, in that there are no enemies in it. You are just uh, matching yourself against the wits of the level designer. Which thankfully isn't too bad in this one. <laughs> One of the few puzzle levels in which you uh, get given a weapon, too. Okay, so we return to the jungle map, having conquered the pyramid puzzle. And carry on to one of the more frustrating levels, the jail. 
so... Oh. oh! The jail is a very punishing level. And uh, very, very frustrating along with it. The knights are back, although no longer switch activated. Now they'll just kill you. The... The phoenix can fly through the lava, but uh, can't get hit by flamethrowers without getting hurt. Make sense of that, if you will. Pretty much guaranteed to fall on that jellyfish. Okay, now... I want to use these stepping stones to get a spinning blade. And try and uh, make life a little easier for ourselves. But uh, I think I'm probably too badly in need of health to uh, make it through this section. Hopefully this will be enough restoration to... Uh, get me through to the end. We need another, at least one more key. And some uh, reasonably precise jumping. Again with the one hit kill spikes. Oh. Okay. I think this may be the best I have ever done getting through this level. <laughs> of course, it's not over yet. I think you just have to get all four switches down, if I remember correctly. Yep. And that knight thankfully doesn't kill you. And that's the jail. Uh, so we've looped back around to uh, where we came in, pretty much. Um, but I got another three gems, so we can now unlock the next part of the game. Which I think is down this way... I get that this world map gives the impression that Jill is a tiny little person in a massive, massive jungle. But God, it makes for some slow movement. I really want to try and knock over level 11 in this part, because level 12 and 13 are going to be a part pretty much all unto themselves. Okay. So let's, uh, let's give level 11 a go. Jill leaps into level 11. Apparently we stopped being able to come up with names for these levels. And straight into a frog. Possibly why it's leaping into level 11. Oh my god, I cannot hit this frog to save my life. Literally. They're gonna kill me. Oh, would you? Really? Thank you. Oh well, I got one. Not the one I was aiming for, admittedly, but uh, the benefits of having three knives is you can really uh, go crazy throwing them. Oh! 
the night slices Jill in half. <laughs> yep, that pretty much sums it up. So yeah, you've got to dodge the knights. That was almost uh, me done again. Because the knights are also one-hit kills. To go along with the spikes. No, okay, there's nothing over that way. I do need to go down. Ooh, and... More one-hit kill spikes. But now a key. So fully equipped with a spinning blade because we've got demons. Who are immune to our knife shots. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. I do like that my knives are still hanging around when I get back. It's got a certain Diablo-esque raiding your corpse element to it. Oh, stuff this. Just run. <laughs> oh! Frog, frog, frog! Oh no! Now I've got to do the knights again, and I've lost all my knives. Not that they'd help me against the knights, uh, the demons again, rather. Hey, I found one. Well, this suddenly got a bit crap. <laughs> Slow and steady. Slow and steady. I mean, and they keep killing me, but I keep killing them, so uh, we'll call it even. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. It's pretty much sums it up. So yeah, the difficulty definitely takes a big spike in this part, um, but level 12 is worse, if you can believe it. Okay, let's uh, enjoy the fact that we are past the demons, and uh, deal with camouflaged frogs. Tree frogs. Bats! Yeah, the whole menagerie is out to get us in this level. But we survived to the end. Well, I mean, we didn't survive to the end. I died a bunch of times. Oh my god.
trying to think how I dealt with this guy last time, and I think I just dodged him. Possibly quite badly. Oh! So busy dodging the demon, I got hit by the bat. Clean that out for a start. I would love to be able to just sneak past him and grab all this health, but uh, I don't have that kind of luck. Okay, go, 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 go! <sighs> Alright, now I feel equipped. This part's gotten a little long. Oh well. Oh, I didn't save after I got the health. This part's going to get very long at this rate. Come on, come on. Oh. I'm so close to the end and this is just so mean. Oh, yes! Okay, let's save while I've got health. See if we can lure this guy down and then dodge him. Nope, he's right up at the top. Slugs, slugs, slugs. Oh, come on. See, the knives can't kill the slugs, only the spinning blade can. Meaning I've got three knives, and at the moment they can kill none of the enemies that I'm facing. Okay. He's dealt with... That's the slugs dealt with. And that's level 11 done. Join me next time when I finally finish going crazy by playing level 12 of Jill Saves the Prince.